JD Smith Lentil Hands. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, as you can hopefully tell, we will be ranking every single agent in Valorant based on how racist they are. This is a 100% factual tier list, so make sure to take everything seriously. And before we get started, a very large percentage of you guys are not subscribed. So if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe if you'd like and enjoy the video. All right, so to start us off very quickly, we'll just go over the rankings. Uh, we have at the top OP level 100 racism. Now, this is obviously for the racist of the racist. Uh, I'm sure very few people will get put in this tier, but it's there. Okay, it's there for a reason. All right, I'm sure there'll be one or two people that will fit the category, but we'll see how it goes. The next tier is horrifically racist. Now, this is a step down, but do not forget, it is still horrifically racist. I mean, it's not even funny. It's just, you're just a terrible person. And it's what it's what the title says, really. You're horrifically racist. So if you are, you'll be in that tier list. The next one is casual funny racism. This is just for the casual racists, you know, not the competitive racists. Um, you know, it's a more, you know, just casual funny racism, really. It's not that deep, you know, just a bit of this, a bit of that. Next one is a little suspicious. Now, not, not an outright racist person would fit into this tier, but definitely someone that's maybe cracked a few jokes that were maybe slightly questionable during some uh, social gatherings. So we'll, you know, we'll leave that tier there. And the next one is normal person. Uh, now this is just obviously for the normal people. I'm sure a majority of people will end up in this tier. We'll see how we progress, but uh, yeah. Those are all the tiers, so let's get onto the rankings. Okay, first up we have Brimstone. Now Brimstone is anything but a normal person, so we can eliminate him from that tier. He is at the very, very least casual funny racism for now, but if you take a look at his fucking head, all right, this is the angriest looking man I've ever seen, all right? What exactly is he angry at? You know, you gotta really consider, like someone's taken his photograph here and he's just looking straight at the camera with a mean, stern face. My guess, okay, my guess is that there was a racial minority stood behind the camera, perhaps taking the photograph and Bribstone was maybe not so accustomed to this. Maybe he's not accustomed to seeing colored people working you know he, he just he wasn't really about that he wasn't excited about it he wasn't there for it and i think there's only one tier really for the, that kind of man to belong in and it's the op level 100 racism brimstone is the uncle at the social gathering that will spit out just the most horrifically obscene racial comments you've ever heard in your life towards a certain ethnic group so he's gonna have to belong in the very top of this list unfortunately on to the next Next up is Viper. Now, similar thing with Viper. Why are you angry? Viper, along with Brimstone, both staring directly at the camera with a mean, stern look. Just a real fucking anger about them. I mean, there's only really one place for that look, and it's if you're looking at a minority, if you're a racist person. So, again, along with Brimstone, top of the fucking list for Viper instantly. I mean, these people are not even hiding it. They, like, look at their photograph. They are clearly racist okay there's no question there's no doubt about it okay this list is 100 percent factual by the way so everything i say you should take with 100 percent certainty that that is truth fucking hell on to the next next up is omen now omen's actually gone for the smart choice here and he's covered up his face okay so along with these other people you know they're very visibly angry about the minority that's taking their photograph but omen we can't actually tell because he's hidden his face this doesn't qualify him for op level 100 racism because there's just no certainty in saying what his true emotions are there there's nothing that really can be said although he can't be a normal person because well we don't really know we just don't know there's a tear with his name on it, and it's the suspicious tier, okay? We don't know exactly what his true intentions are for when he meets an ethnic minority, but it may be something horrific. So we'll put him in, we'll at least put him in the suspicious tier, but if I'm honest, I reckon we could bump him up maybe further on the video, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. Okay, next up is Killjoy. Now, Killjoy is an interesting one. I'm actually going to say Killjoy is our first normal person in the video, and this is why. She has an ability, right? The turret ability. Now, if you were a racist person, what would you do? Would you find the cheapest way to manage your weaponry, also known as a slave behind the gun? Or would you do what Killjoy does if you're a normal person 
And would you manufacture and spend great time and great resources on building a robot that can detect and shoot so you don't have to get a slave? I think Killjoy's gone out of her way to ensure that no slavery goes into the production of her weaponry and the use of it. And so for this reason, she's a normal person. On to the next. Next up is Cypher. Now, similar along with Omen, uh, we don't know what his true intentions are because obviously he's got his face hidden. Okay, very, very smart, If assuming he is, of course, a horrifically racist person, but we just can't say for sure what his true intentions are, so he's going to go in the suspicious tier, and there's, there's not much more I can do about that. If I had it my way, I'd probably bump him up, but, I mean, you know, this is, this is just how these tier lists go. We don't know for certain, so let's put him in the suspicious tier and move on. Next up is Cypher. Now, Cypher, I don't know, he's not... You know, you can see a common trend with these two people at the top. They're very visibly angry, obviously. I don't know, Cypher, I don't think he fits that role, really. I don't think he really portrays the face of an OP level 100 racism person. He's definitely not happy. He's definitely not happy. Which makes me think maybe we put him in the casual funny racism tier, which is what I initially think. But the casual funny racism tier, you know, you have a little smirk about you, a little, a little cheekiness. Cypher doesn't have that. Cypher's, Cypher's, nothing's funny to this guy. He's just looking straight ahead. He's just, oh, oh, I'm fucking angry. He's not, he's not a happy man, but he's not an outright, he's not an outright anger. So I reckon he's in the horrifically racist tier. There's nothing funny about his racism. It's just horrific, really. So on to the next. Next up is Sage. Now, Sage is definitely one of the more gentle people on the team. You know, usually if you have a woman on your team, they're generally going to be playing Sage. So I feel like, you know, definitely more feminine operator. Um, or agent. I don't think that she's a very racist person. I'm just going to go out and say it right now. You guys can disagree with me if you want. Leave a comment if you think she doesn't belong in this tier, but for now, I think I'm going to put her in the normal person tier, and on to the next. All right, now next up is this cunt. I don't know his fucking name. He's not going to whine it, but look at his head. All right, right off the bat, I mean, he, he he's not a happy man, okay? He's not a happy man. When we, We've got to consider what is he not actually happy about, Okay, assuming there's no minority in the background or actually in his current field of view taking his photograph, assuming that, of course, what else would he have to be angry about? The only answer is that he's thinking about the minorities in his head. Okay, even if he's not actually seeing the minorities, he's thinking about them and he's just pissed off. He's not having it. He's not a happy fella. For this reason, he's going to have to go on the very top of the li list. I mean, this guy's just not happy. And there's only really one thing that you cannot be happy about in this day and age, and that is, of course, racial minorities. So, on to the next. Now, next up is Sky. I think. Now, Sky, I would right off the bat say she's not very racist, but she is hailing in from Australia, which really does change things up. You know, Australia is a very racist nation. Um, there's really not much else that can be said about that, unfortunately. So, Sky... It's going to be going in the casual, funny racism tier. I feel like every Australian, whether they want to admit it or not, lies somewhere in the middle of this tier list. So we'll uh, we'll put her there. On to the next. Next up is Breach. Now, Breach, I feel like, say, shares some similarities with Brimstone on the top. They actually kind of look alike. I get them confused often. Uh, so to play the safe card here, I'm going to assume that they're both the same person, and I'm going to put them both on the very top of this list. I mean, if I'm completely honest with you, that he does look racist. We can all agree. We can all, you know, stop taking the piss. He looks like a racist person. Um, whether he belongs on the top of this tier or the second highest, I mean, that's really that's really not for me to decide, unfortunately. It's for him to decide. So I think he's decided he wants to be at the very top. On to the next. Okay, next up is Ray's coming in from somewhere on Earth. Um, slightly darker toned skin, meaning she's likely been subjected to some uh, racial profiling in her time, maybe some uh, prejudice against her skin color. I'm going to say that Ray is a normal person due to the uh, the racism she's experienced in her life. I feel like she's smart enough to not then go and spread more of that racism. You understand what I mean? I feel like you know once you've experienced it, you go, all right, you know, bad thing. Let's not let's not promote this anymore. Uh, so for that reason, I'm going to say she's a normal person. On to the next. <coughs> next up is Raina. Fucking hell. Excusing the actual agent that Raina is, all right, if we just think about the kind of people that play Raina, 
I mean, that's really all I've got to say. Like, you already know. You already understand where she belongs on this list. Think about the person that insta-locks Reyna on your team. Think about what their head looks like. They're the, uh, the most racist 14-year-old that you have ever seen in your life, okay? Instant top of the list. It's not even a fucking question at this point. I don't know why I'm even talking about this for so long. Because everyone would automatically agree with me. Reyna belongs on the top of this list as much as anyone else does. On to the next. Okay, Jet is a similar thing to Rainer with the kind of people that insta-lock Rainer, the same kind of people insta-lock Jet, but I think we can take it down a tier. I think Jet is definitely, you know, you'd get some racist 14-year-olds picking her, obviously, but it's a lot, it's a lot calmer. You could even maybe justify putting her in the casual funny racism tier, but I think we're going to go with a horrifically racist tier today. But honestly, she could belong in either two, but I don't think she belongs on the very top of this list, unfortunately. On to the next. Next up is Phoenix. Phoenix coming in from the UK with that accent, I'm assuming. Um, obviously a black male himself. Uh, I'm going to say he's definitely been subjected to some form of racism inside of the United Kingdom. Uh, for this reason alone, I'm going to say he is a normal person. I mean, he doesn't really you know where the fuck did he go. I'm going to say he's a normal person. I don't really think that he's a very racist guy. I think he's been subjected to a fair amount of it, which means he's learned to overcome certain racial barriers in life, which then, you know, makes him grow and learn as a person about why racism is a thing, and maybe he's more informed about it than others, and he then decides to not be racist due to this information that he's grown up and learning. So I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but yeah, on to the next. All right, next up is this bitch. Uh, again, she is also a black person, so, you know, similar thing with Phoenix. Uh, I'm going to say that she's a normal person. She's been subjected to severe racism, likely, in her time. Unfortunately, that's how the world works. I'm not, I'm not rooting for it, okay, but it's how the world works, and I'm saying she's grown as a person because of it, so she's become a normal person. On to the next. Next up is K.O. K.O. doing the smart thing here and covering up his identity once again. We don't actually know, is this man a man or is he a robot? We don't actually know, but I'm pretty sure he's a robot. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's a robot. Now, robots robots adapt to the human the human way of life. They, they learn from humans, don't they? So humans are generally pretty fucking racist. I mean, we've, you can already see this graph. It's actually perfectly split with half of them being on top, half of them being on bottom at the moment. We'll see how this video ends, but at the moment, it's 50-50. So for that reason, KO is going to have to go right in the middle. I mean, statistically, he will be right in the middle for the amount of racism that he's going to be spitting out if he's a robot. If 50% of the information he takes in is racist and 50% isn't, then he's got, he's got to lie somewhere in the middle, I'd assume. So... That's why I think he belongs there. On to the next. Next up is Chamber. Ah, Chamber coming in from somewhere. I mean, along with Rainer and Jet. He really just is, you know, the kind of people... I don't know. I haven't actually played Valiant in ages because the game sucks. But uh, I feel like the kind of people that insta-lock Chamber are just the kind of people that also insta-lock Rainer when they're playing on their Smurf account. Oh, I think he just belongs... He belongs at the top of this list. I mean, honestly, he belongs at the very top. He's he's, very, he's an angry-looking dude. Yeah, he's very angry. He's very uh, he's very mean. He's very. He looks very privileged, in my opinion, as well. It looks like he's had a very nice childhood, which doesn't mean he's going to be racist. But, I mean, if we, you know, statistically, I'd say a lot of privileged people grow up not liking minorities as much. So let's just put him on the top of this list and move on to the next. Next up is Neon. Now, Neon's ability, her ultimate ability, kind of... I don't know if anyone else has seen this or not. I feel like I might be a genius, because I might be the first person that's actually picked up on this. But her ultimate ability resembles a whip. You can't tell me it doesn't. It resembles a whip. I think that's a, um, a clear insight into her past ancestor's life as slave owners, or maybe even herself as a slave owner. I think she's... Then taking that and using it in her ultimate ability to respect and uh, remember her heritage and where she came from and what her ancestors grew up doing. And I think she is embracing this, embracing the fact that they were slave owners and even having some fun with it and trying to live on their spirit, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to say 
Neon is on the very, very top of this list. I mean, she's literally a slave owner. There's evidence of it in-game. She's a slave owner. On to the next. Next up is... Fade. That's her name. Next up is Fade. I don't have much to say about Fade. I mean, the next few operators are all new to me. I don't actually know who this... No, no that's Harbour. That's a Gecko. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't think that's actually an operator, but whatever. Fade. Fade's kind of new to me. I don't know much about Fade. I think... I think she's going for the evil look here. She's definitely going for that angry look, but I don't think she's all that, bro. I don't think she, she's trying too much, you know. I think she's just a little bit, you know, like, oh, I'm so fucking racist and terrible. She, that's what she's trying to say, but she isn't really. She isn't that bad. We'll put her in the casual funny racism. I don't think she's all that. She's trying to be racist. She's trying to be this, but she's only this, you know what I mean? She's not all that. We'll put her in the middle. On to the next. Next up is Harbour. I can't actually tell from where I'm sat, but he looks like a cheeky dude. He looks he looks like a happy, cheeky little man. I don't think this means he's a normal person, because normal people are not happy. If you're happy, you must be happy about something racist. So I think I think he's gonna go in the little suspicious tier. I think he's only a little bit suspicious. He's not he's not full on racist. I mean there's nothing about him that says says he's racist, but you know, he's suspicious. He's not not racist. So we'll put him we'll put him there. On to the next. Next up is Gecko. Uh, with a head like that, I'm going to say Gecko does not qualify for the normal person tier, so we can eliminate him from that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think he's too racist, but I wouldn't think he's not racist. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't. I wouldn't think much of either. So I'm going to say that Gecko is a little bit suspicious, at least a little bit, just because we don't know. I don't know fuck all about Gecko. Who even is Gecko? What does he do? I don't play this game. Who the fuck is that? And then next up is whoever this is. Now, I actually cannot tell if that is a man or a woman, but assuming it's definitely one of those things. Um, oh, okay, well, if I don't know their gender identity off the bat, I feel like they're already a little bit suspicious to me. Because I don't know much about them, you know. I don't, I, I don't know anything about whoever the fuck that is. So I think that does qualify for the suspicious tier because I don't I don't I don't know who the fuck that is. I've never seen that in my life. There's not much more that can be said about that. I've really got no fucking clue. And anyway, Jaders and gentlemen, that is the tier list. Um, you can screenshot this. You can send this video to your mates if you want them to be more informed about the agents that they are playing in this game. If they're playing some racist agents, you gotta you gotta get them off of that. Fucking hell! But yeah, this is the list. Uh, I hope you all agree with me. If you disagree with some agents that I've put on some certain place in this list, just chuck a comment. Let me know where I should put them. Um, I will take deep consideration into all of your comments, obviously. Uh, this tier list is 100% factual, so you are now well informed. So you can pat yourself on the back for that one. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you can give a fuck. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.